on with our special guest this evening. We have Jay and Joe. Joe just came up with a new CD produced by, by Jay at uh, Texas Road Studio in Amherstburg. Yeah. And gentlemen, thank you for being here tonight. Thanks and, for and you know, thank as you. long as we're having a good time, and I see the yeah fake big smiles. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. But uh, before the break, we started talking about the, the the CD itself, and I asked why eight track. Eight track. Uh, the name <laughs> itself is just the old school influence. It's funny when um, when I see young kids, like like even my daughter and her friends, and, and young kids like that, and they're like they look at an eight track. Well, there's eight songs on it, right? This is exactly that's what it is. They don't get it. We get it. Yeah. Right? Eight track. The first thing you had before the before the albums, before the cassettes, before the CDs, before the MP3s. Did you guys, you guys really had one? Did you have one in your? I track? had an eight track. Really? Oh, did yeah. you take? Um, I didn't have one, but my <laughs> uncle did, and I remember. Uh, I'm a little yeah, older I, than you, so yeah. yeah. But I do remember the eight tracks, yeah. yeah. And they were great. I mean, then they went to uh, the cassettes. cassettes. That's right. Yeah. And then yeah. when the CDs came out, it was awesome. Now yeah. it's, you know. And now it's almost converting from the CDs to uh, to flash drives or you know USBs, right? Yeah. yeah. So or, crazy. Uh, serious radio. Shows. Time's moving. <laughs> Plugging them on. Yeah, that's but, right. And, and like I was telling you, I had three favorite songs. There was four, but I picked three. Okay. So, the, uh, better than this. I mean, we better had a. This, yeah. You came here quite a while ago, and actually, we, we recorded you doing in that one too. take. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even Dave was yeah. amazed that we pulled that one off. But we had a lot of fun doing that, and and yeah. uh, you know, it sounds like you guys had a lot of fun doing that. Was oh, that, that was a awesome. challenge for you, Jay, doing that? No, song, it or? wasn't a challenge. It was. Uh, it was a great experiment. I mean, it was. Uh, you know, just listening to some of Joe's tracks and. You know, we would sit down. He'd show me a song, just you know, acoustically, and it was it was pretty cool on how we collaborated. You know, both of our ideas on what we could do with that song, what instrument we could add, you know, what would bring it to that next level of, uh, of professionalism and that sound quality to get it there. And uh, it was awesome. I mean, you know, Joe's a great artist. Uh, he's a very, very good writer, mm -hmm. and um, I love working with him. It, it's been great. Yeah, I, from from when he did it <coughs> solo here at the studio. Yeah. To when I heard it, when the finished product, yeah, it was awesome. It was totally different. It was yeah, we we it was had, really good. We had a, a young uh, young fella come out and give us a hand with that. He was uh, Nick. Nick. Nick came out and yeah. played guitar on it. Right, eighteen year old kid. So that that was kind of cool to have mm -hmm. such a young blood in the studio with yeah. us. And yeah. Such a natural. Yeah, is he for eighteen? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah so. which which is you know uh, that's just it, right? How many people are out there oh, that have the talent it's crazy that nobody that nobody spots them? Yeah. Right. And it is hard today. I mean, a lot of people say it's easier today because you can, you know, send your stuff out there over computer. But I mean, sometimes you have to know something, right, mm -hmm. to, to get a good start, anyways, right? Well, that too. But I mean, there, there's so much. I mean, we're just oh. so overloaded by yeah. by social media that right. a, a good thing can also get lost, just like it couldn't okay. be found. No, it just gets yeah. lost, right? Gotcha. The other song too that I like was was Carry On, and I think you guys, when I we started talking the one night. That had a real special place in your heart when 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 you were doing it, and it was. Yeah. You want to talk about that? Yeah, carry carry on is about um, my my mom comes from a family of eight children, and carry on was about um, her oldest sister, my my aunt Zarifa, and um, she she had one crazy crazy life. Mm -hmm. She she was uh, she moved here at a young age. She had. Oh my goodness, I think six children at the time when they moved from Lebanon, six or even seven children at the time. And it, 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 the song itself is just, it, it's a legacy. Of her life, really. Uh, yeah, I would say, you know, when I listened to it, really. yeah. it was a tribute. I mean, yeah. you really yeah. paid homage to this lady. Yeah, I tried to, um, I tried to pick out certain things that, yeah. that she went through and, and she carried on through. Well, can you imagine? I mean, you were telling me she lost three she lost, children. She lost three children in a fire on Good Friday in 1968 here in Leamington. Mm -hmm. So that was that was really tough. Although a blessing after that was she had three more children mm -hmm. in in the same in the same uh, same way, boy, girl, boy, and renamed those children again. So. And, wow. She went through a lot of heartache, went through some major heart surgeries, literally, and she was, uh, she was a rock, man. 
There's certain people in your life that just that inspire you, you yeah. to, 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 I don't know, to, to, to be write. a better person. Which is, which is what Jay was just saying, you know, you're, you're a really talented poet. I, and I mm. think that's your passion. First, sure. it's, it's, yeah. it's to write poetry. And uh, so tell me about that. Would, would you rather just write? I'm, and, and you know what? I'm, I'm a writer. I am a writer. Performing's fun. Yeah. I, I don't know if I would do it. So do you choke up if you, if you get into a bunch of people? You know what? The first, uh, the first song and a half, maybe, yeah. after that, you just you loosen up. I think everybody does. But I mean, uh, the, the longer I play, if I'm doing, it, if I'm doing an op open mics are tough because you get 15 minutes or you get three songs. Is that like karaoke kind of thing? Uh, no, open no. mic is um, you could hit a, hit a bar in town and they just have, literally have an open mic. You go up and do your stuff. And people are, are there to hear you, there to listen, and they're hoping that you do original stuff. Well, you know? yeah. So you get up there, you do your originals. But by the second or third song, you're just getting warmed up, you know, and you're ready to go. And it's like, all right, next, <laughs> Joe, you're done. Johnny, you're up. So. Yeah. But uh, so that's so you've done a few of those. I have. And you're comfortable. It, yes, I am very comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, because it's it's hard. I mean, you put somebody in front of a camera, and it's one thing, but you put them in front of people and. Yeah, I don't know. Sure. I, 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 I torn your heart out there, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And you're being, yeah, that's <laughs> that's. Have you? Well, you obviously played. I've right? done it, yeah, uh, um, in several bands, you know, before uh, as lead singer, right? Um, and I mean, it, I think it's just it, it's a great feeling because once you get up there, yeah, the nerves are there. Mm -hmm. But you know, once you're up on that stage, it's it acts as a release, right? Mm -hmm. It's just it's a rush. It's great. Yeah. And when you have that type of passion for music, and that's what you want to do. It, it just comes easy after. So do you find that you guys, as, as passionate as you are for your arts, you do it almost probably for nothing, literally. I mean, it's a passion. You obviously That's right. have jobs, but, yeah. but you have a vision. So what is the vision for Texas Road Studio? Uh, vision, I guess, is just helping you know, other artists that don't have the luxury to, to step into a studio that can you know, record every day, mm -hmm. right? Um, that's my vision, is, is helping other people, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and obviously, getting it up there and, and making a name for myself, for sure. Well, I know so far, I mean, you've done... So, here, here's the hard thing. Um, where did you pick up all your, your, your talent? I mean, you obviously have a musical background. Right. Um, I started off with, uh, gosh, my mom, my mom bought me a karaoke machine. Okay. Um, back when I was, like, probably 13 years old. And I would take uh, tapes, it was cassettes, and I would mix on cassettes back and forth with my vocals, and I'd start mixing it that way. Wow. And uh, as soon as I started doing that and, and listening to the playback and doing my edits, uh, that's where I fell in love with the recording atmosphere. So you, and I just stuck with it. So you did it all on your own? Yeah, really? all just on my own. Trial and error? Yeah. Which is basically what you did, really, in a yeah. sense. I mean, were you self-taught as well? Yeah, I was self-taught. Actually, I'm a left-handed guitar player. My, um, a few of my cousins played guitar at the time, mm -hmm. but it, it was... Uh, it was cool to watch them play because I could mirror the chords they were playing, but when it came to playing their guitar, I would grab their guitar and turn it the other way and play everything <laughs> upside <laughs> down, if you will, yeah, wow. until I could afford to buy a guitar. So, that is wild. Yeah. Well, li listen, I, we got to take a little break, but when we come back, we're going to talk about my favorite song, okay. which is Mary. Okay. Okay. 